Hello everyone, Dale here with Complete Payroll Solutions with some more great tips for your business this month. We're gonna get right into it. Stephanie, what do you have for us this month? Hello, so some great news. The Biden-Harris administration now is requiring insurance companies and group health plans to cover at-home COVID tests. So what's nice is each person, each member of the family or individual can now get eight COVID tests um, per month. So if you have a family of four, that's 32, co if I'm doing my math correctly, that's 32 <laughs> COVID tests per month that you can get. Um, you can go online, you can go to the store, um, and you can either, it should be at a point where you can actually use your insurance and cover it, or you would now have to submit for reimbursement for these tests. Um, so this did start January 15th, so it's a great, great inclusion in the health plan. Perfect. Thank you. Karen, we'll go to you next. What do you have for us? Yeah, so today, today I want to talk about the Pay Equity Act in Massachusetts. Actually, all of the Northeast states now have pay equity statutes. Massachusetts was the first state to disallow an employer to ask prospective employees about their salary history before a job offer is made. And it's illegal to prevent employees from sharing salary information with each other. We certainly have had a lot of conversations with business owners who don't like the fact that employees talk about their salary but they are allowed to do it. It's protected under the NLRB and now state laws. So this statute also requires equal pay for comparable work. So employers can't discriminate against employees because of their gender when deciding and paying wages. So what does comparable work mean? It's really differences in pay are only allowed due to seniority, geographic location of the job, production, sales, or revenue-based system of pay, job-related differences in education, training, or experience, a merit system or differences in travel required by jobs. So employers can't refuse to consider you for a job based on how much you earned in your last job. So you can't ask people, what did you make in your last job? What you can say to candidates is, what salary range are you looking at? Or what would you like to be paid? But you can't ask what previous uh, salary. And you can't be retaliated against for exercising your rights in Massachusetts. There are uh, two times damages, sometimes treble damages, depending on the situation. Yikes. Thank you for that update. <laughs> and Julia, what do you have for us this month? Well, what's hot in payroll right now is your side hustle. So everyone gets uh, paid by Venmo or PayPal or Stripe. Well, this is being looked at now. So basically, there's some big changes I want people to know about. And this is essentially, I think, how they're going to start tracking if people are being paid incorrectly or not paying taxes that they should. So in the past, through any of these agencies, it was $20,000 and 200 transactions in order to be issued a 1099K. For 2022, the number has dropped to $600. So they're not looking for, you know, transactions with, you know, splitting dinner costs or things like that. They're looking for people like a hairstylist or a, um, a drywaller who's actually working for a company and should be an employee. Um, they even mentioned people that do craft fairs. They're looking for those kinds of people to report that income. So $600, a big drop. I mean, a big drop from $20,000 plus 200. So that's what I have for you this week. I know a few of those people too, so I will let them know if they haven't heard. Once again, great tips this month. Thank you very much. Stay warm, stay dry, stay inside for now, and we'll catch up with you soon. I lost the stop recording. Where did it go?